Hey tubes. Down in the shack here and uh had a little little issue with my power supply here. Not entirely sure what's causing it, but I have an idea. So real quick, let me just give you the rundown on this power supply. It's a 13 volt uh 20 amp power supply and uh pyramid phase two is uh and make name on it. But I bought it off a local C beer and to to simplify it. He sold it to me, he said he didn't really know what made him put it up on the shelf, but he wasn't using it, he couldn't remember if there was anything wrong with it. He said if I did find any problems with it, um, yeah, he'd give me my money back. Now, I am experiencing a little bit of, little bit of a, an issue with it, um, but I think I might know what the problem is. I think I can fix it. Um, I've read about this happening before. So, what I'm going to do is I'll fire it up first, and then I'll show you what the problem is. So first, let me uh, turn the radio on here. I mean the power supply. Okay. Next, we're gonna turn the radio on. We'll go up to. Uh, there's a lot of skip coming in, unfortunately, but that's okay. And um, so now I'm gonna key the radio, and you just watch what happens. Whoa! Yeah, that's right. That's what I said the first time it happened. Listen to this. Alright. Now, bottom line is, the power supply is not supposed to do that. So okay, so what, we, what, we, uh, what we've done here is we've got you set up on the tripod and took the, took the, the cover off and all that. Um, I will point out, just for, for safety, I did, once I shut the radio down, I shut the radio off, I shut the power supply off, and then what I did was after unplugging the power supply, I then turned the radio on again so that it would just drain out the power supply for the most part. I mean, there could still be a capacitor in there. Uh, there's a couple capacitors under there, but either way, um, I, I did the simplest thing I could, and really, if um, if there's any, any other power in there, um, I'm going to be I'm going to be using a soldering iron, and soldering iron has a plastic handle, so hopefully we'll be okay. Anyway, uh, after uh, really just some simple inspection, it was not hard at all for me to find the problem. If you look here, and I did do a little bit of research, so I had some help. But the most common cause of of a problem like this is these are the wires here going onto the transformer, which it's a big transformer by the way, and. Uh, Turns out what it is, is this wire's loose. That's all there is to it. Uh, if you go back, if you feel like it, um, when I turn the power supply on, you may or may not have been able to see, but there's actually a little spark here. And that, of course, is from um, you know this arcing right here. And once, uh, once you key up the radio and you're, you're really drawing like 20 amps from it, uh, it's actually causing the whole body um, to, to resonate, it, it's vibrating at, a six, at 60 hertz, which is the, uh, the frequency of the electricity. It's kind of interesting, actually, but in any case, it's a little dangerous and uh, not exactly causing uh, desirable effects and the radio's not operating right. So this is either a cold solder joint or, uh, you know, maybe, maybe actually if, um, if it was loose or a cold solder joint to begin with, then what might happen is as uh, as it was used, it might have heated up and melted. That really isn't supposed to happen, but if it did, it did, and now we have to fix it. So, okay, so we, what we've done now, as you can see, is we've soldered it back on. Um, I, I did have to take the wire off and uh, so I could clean up the terminal here, um, but I was able to get the solder to take. So now that's, uh, that's on there good. And uh, it should be good to go now. So we'll just uh, put the put the cover back on, hook the radio up, and make sure it works. All right, not too hard, was it? All righty, everything's now hooked up again. Got all the, the grounds and the the hot wires and everything hooked up. So let's, uh, let's flip the switch here. Okay, that's good. So far, so good. Turn the radio on. Seems to be okay. Alright. Let's 
key it up just to make sure. Okay. Looks good. I think it's working. We're uh, drawing about 8 amps now. And if we really modulate, we get right up on the mic. Uh, we're drawing, you know, 15, picking out about 15 amps now. And uh, it's not bothering, it's not bothering anything. So there you go. That's it. Oops. Fix the radio. Fix the power supply. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.